It hasn't even been two weeks since our last Theft King video. Two weeks and Theft King is already at it again. So, like we said in our last Theft King video, we don't want to have to cover Theft King, and we don't want to become one of his detractors or haters, so we're going to try to make this our last Theft King video unless he does something extremely terrible that's completely unignorable, because at this point, we're honestly done with Theft King. Before, we thought Theft King would change eight months ago. He didn't. Then, we gave him the benefit of doubt and hope that he'd listen to reason and change, and he hasn't. So, we're gonna talk about his latest bit of drama, his latest bit of trying to throw multiple FNAF YouTubers under the bus so that he can make himself look better, and then give our final thoughts about Theft King so we can just be done with this man. I've unsubscribed, I'm not gonna be watching him anymore, I'm not a fan of his anymore, and I'm honestly just done. So, the bit of drama that Theft King has gotten himself mixed up into again is that a person named Underscore was in a group chat with two other FNAF YouTubers and because Underscore did something shady, Theft King is trying to rope the FNAF YouTubers who did videos on him in to make them look bad. So what Underscore did was he made a video where he took a clip from one of uh, Theft King's videos and he uploaded it to his channel to get Theft King to strike it. And Theft King did. And he used the YouTube copyright system to get Theft King's email and was going to send him harassing emails, sign him up for a bunch of stuff, and leak his email address, which he did do all those things. And his accomplice was a guy named The Boss. These two are the only ones that did anything, and they did everything in the span of a day. These two are the only ones to blame. I do not endorse what they did, Literally, no one endorses what they did. What they did was fucked up and is harassment. No one should be okay with harassment. But what didn't happen is Sleep Live didn't contribute to this because ironically enough he was sleeping. And I'm I'm gonna say this guy's name wrong, so I'm sorry. His icon's gonna be on the screen. Re Lolin, Re Loloin, whatever his name is, had nothing to do with this. Theft King made a video calling out a whole group of people when only two people did anything negative to him at all. And the reason why he called out Sleep Live and this GOAT YouTuber is because they did videos negative to him. And in his video, he used very manipulative language to make these guys back off from him. At first, he was saying that it was perfectly okay to make videos on him, it's just not okay to harass him by doxing him. But then he switched it to towards the end that if you make videos on him, you'll be sorry. So he made it very clear in his video that he doesn't want people to make videos on him, even if he says otherwise. He used this situation, just like what he did with Uh Yeah, to try to throw these guys under the bus and make them look bad. He's weaponizing his audience to attack people that did literally nothing wrong. Neither of these two people doxed him, neither of these two people harassed him, it was just underscore and a boss. This is ridiculous. You are part of the FNAF YouTubing community. You are a part of the FNAF fandom. Why do you keep attacking your fellow creators when all they do is offer you criticism? They're not attacking you, they're trying to help you. You keep having manic episodes, you keep going out of your way to try to hurt people, you attack fan game developers, you attack other creators, and unlike with them where they give you constructive criticism, you tell people to burn in hell, you accuse them of being anti-semitic, and you accuse them of being doxers and harassers when they did none of that to you. You are in the wrong. You are completely delusional. And at this point, you've shown that you are manipulative. I have nothing more to say about you. I have nothing more to say to you. You've lost a fan and you've lost a subscriber. How do you feel about this though, Luminous? 
I am completely disgusted with his actions. He's, again, back when the King Carter stuff happened, I thought he could improve. I thought he could recover for this, and I was rooting for him. But then the stuff with Oh uh, Yeah happened, where he was blaming him for stuff he just didn't do, trying to demonize him and get pity points, victim points. I don't know what he was trying to do other than get attention on himself. I didn't like that then, and I don't like it now when he's going after two other people who've done nothing. They've talked about when he was doing stuff like with the king carter stuff he's labeling them as theft king youtubers when they really haven't even made that many videos about him one of them has made i think when he made the video four videos at the max on him three of those were during the king carter stuff and the other one like months and months after he's not dedicated his channel to him he's lying about him i think it's just disgusting and deplorable i don't think at this point he's going to change. He's looking for drama, and I don't support that. I don't want to watch him for drama. I don't like drama. I think he could still change, but I think it's unlikely. And if he does, it's not going to be anytime soon. So yeah, honestly, I feel bad because the FNAF community desperately need someone who will speak out against abusive behavior. They need someone that will talk about things going on in the greater community. There's a lot of people to do FNAF theories. There's a lot of people to do FNAF discussions. There's a lot of people who just talk about the game. And he really could have been that guy, but he shows that that type of power goes to your head and inevitably you will try to abuse it because the pendulum is only allowed to swing one way and criticism is not allowed to come back at you. So I think that Theft King has made his bed and he has to lie in it and there's no use in hoping for him to better himself because he's shown that he has no interest in doing that. If you like this FNAF video, please hit that like button. If you know other people that like FNAF, share this video to them. It will help everyone out. It'll help this channel grow. It'll help get some new exposure to us. And if you guys want to see more stuff like this, you should hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, do everything that YouTubers tell you to do because it actually does help out and it helps us make more content like this.